Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of classifying shapes and solids. This is standard 3.6a in the great state of Texas and we are using number 11 of the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause this video, work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it we will look at our answers together. So this looks like a fairly simple problem, just one question. Make sure we understand that we're looking for something that is not a prism. So that's our word right there. So what is a prism? Well, first and foremost, a prism is a 3D solid. Another thing we need to know about the prism, it has, it has two identical, we'll call them uh, bases, but really they're just part of the faces. Bases slash faces. And then all other faces. Now here's the tricky part. Other faces are either going to be rectangles or parallelograms. So when we look at our prisms, we're going to see vertices, we're going to see edges, and so typically we're going to see lots of rectangles, but we're going to put that, that uh, parallelogram in there just because it might not necessarily be a rectangle. So let's see if we can identify some of these shapes, because we want to find the one that is not classified a prism. Really, we are looking at solids, not necessarily shapes. So this first one is actually kind of tricky. So this is our cube, and it doesn't have the word prism in there. But let's see, do we have two identical bases or faces? Well, yeah, actually, if it's a cube, uh, the whole thing is just made up of square faces. So we could pick any two if we really wanted to. But let's just pick the top and the bottom, because it doesn't really matter on a cube. Those two are identical. And then remember, our second step is all the other faces are rectangles or par parallelograms. Now, you need to know that a rectangle is... Um, a square is a special type of rectangle. So yes, this is definitely a prism because a cube is a special type of rectangular prism. It just happens to have all square faces. So cube is a prism. And that is probably going to be one of our tricky, trickier parts of this because if you know the shape, it doesn't have the word prism in there. So that is not our answer. Now this, if you know the shape, is going to be a little bit easier because it's called a triangular prism. And it's got the word prism in the name of the shape. So here are our two bases that are identical. So we've got two triangles. So these two, it doesn't matter if they are rectangles or parallelograms. The other three faces have to be rectangles or parallelograms, and they are. You see we've got some rectangles here, and then the one on the back, and then there's one on the bottom. So it's not B. So we're stuck with C and D. So do we have two identical, oh, let's, let's go ahead and name this first. This is a cylinder. And do we have two identical bases or faces? Well, yes, we do. We got circles. Cylinders are like Coke cans, soup cans. Yes, they definitely have two identical bases or faces. But here's the problem. All other faces need to be rectangles or parallelogram. We can't even call this, this middle part right here, that's not even a face. It's a curved surface. So we are going to run into a problem because the cylinder does not have rectangles or parallelograms as the rest of its faces. It's got a curved surface. So let's just make sure that D is a prism. And hopefully if you remember this, name of this object it is a rectangular prism so once again the word prism is in there so it definitely is a prism because it's got two identical faces so right here and then the rest of the faces are rectangles so here's the tricky thing we have to remember a cube is a prism the word prism does not show up in the name but it is a prism a cylinder is not a prism and so our answer is going to be c